Venus Goddess Alchemy Spell of Allure and Seduction Venus, the goddess of love, has the ability to make you beautiful from the inside out and desirable. People would come to her when they needed her to conjure up a potent, exceller passion potion toward her intended target. She knew that there was more to doing things than simply magic. She had to direct her energy and intention along with the energy of the seeker. Now word around town, she was very popular and also beautiful. But everyone knew that she was a very powerful goddess. They knew the abilities of goddess Venus alchemy and wanted to demonstrate the results of its intended subject. She knew her abilities because she's always gotten results from where she sets her energy and directs her energy toward She have long been striving to conjure a concoction, we should call it, maybe. Or maybe it's something even more powerful that will allow the intended target to see the beauty within and to make them more desirable than before, that they will constantly be longing for their lost love. They had been working on it for longer, or should I say she, but of course she has her assistants to assist her to make this special, exceller potion. This had been worked on for longer than they could even remember, and though they had some remarkable success, They actually never created what they wanted, a spell that could literally alter how one perceived themselves and allow them to do the things like overcome their perceived flaws and be brave in the face of challenges that they before thought was so large to even conquer. She got this idea during the middle of the night when the full moon sets her guide spoke to her and told her about this person that needed to feel loved however her confidence was very low and She didn't feel good about herself. She didn't see herself as beautiful. Someone told Goddess Venus that there was a person that needed her power, that needed her to assist in creating a potion for her to drink so that she is able to open her eyes to see the things that lie within. Even though you see her eyes open, they are not yet really open. So Venus went to her garden of Eden to pick her secret herbs After this, they mix their potent recipe to create this ultimate potion. They already could do things to make people irresistible to each other. 
It was a simple enough matter to set the intentions of their desired target to see one thing and feel another. Twin flames and soulmates were like two powerful forces that fed off of each other energies. With the right stimulus and materials, they could be made to do just about anything. However, the science of it could only go but so far in the physical realm. It wasn't so easy to grasp at the human perception, but to keep it, that was something that person had to do for themselves. She had seen so many bewitched by her special potions, but ultimately failed to pan out because of the doubt of the individual, the subject it was crafted to help. Now, one of Venus' unknowing subjects was a perfect example of this. She was a talented conjurer, a weaver of the most exotic potions that was in very high demand. However, as much as her skill was considered art, she had benefited greatly by her work. She could never see herself as worthy. However, this is where Goddess Venus Alchemy comes in. She wasn't able to do this spell herself. She needed a goddess that was very omnipotent in her power. She needed her help. She was heartbroken and very stricken within her spirit with low self-esteem, always struggled with a different perceptive on how she was perceived. Her self-worth was low as she projected it to others. She was lonely. She clearly wanted love and companionship, but did not know how to go about getting it. She would try and meet people. She would try and find companion. But she would eventually shoot herself down with critical and doubtful words. She simply just wanted someone to love. And to love her back in return, of course. Goddess Venus could easily put a spell on her that would make her alluring to those who she would meet. They would be drawn to her and not know why. She would be like a magnet drawing them and pulling them in. They would look at her. They would gaze at her. They would admire her and they would long to be with her. Even themselves wouldn't be able to figure out what it is. And they would say, that is simply something about you. I just can't get it out of my mind. She needed to find a way. Venus needed to find a way to make the weaver perceive herself as others perceived her with this special potion. She needed to make a love potion of all sorts to make her aware of her own power that lies deep within. Soon she will find out her worth and how beautiful she is inside. On this journey of life, 
You will most likely encounter many events and stages concerning matters of the heart. Love, one of the major highlights of life and finding your twin flame, your heart's desire, your significant other is probably one of your ultimate desires. Although you will surely endeavor towards goals surrounding even more than that, spirituality, love, and your soulmate are pivotal aspects on your path. Different deities are in place to give you healing, power, and even a paranormal deliverance to your mind, body, and spirit. All areas of your life can be touched, guided, and strengthened with the magic of your love life. It's no exception. Who is Venus? You have most likely heard of Venus, the Roman goddess of love and beauty. But have you felt her spirit or understood her soul? Goddess Venus is in many of us and in all of us. All we have to do is activate that part of us. Tap in to the goddess inside of us. Now many of us may have different deities that surround us and guide us. However, we are speaking about goddess Venus, the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Do you know that she can directly interact with matters of your heart and relationship? Venus embodies many things, but most notably love and beauty and intimacy. She is also made manifest in seduction, enticement, and even she's a warrior, a fighter, a fighter for love actually, victory. She goes after the desire of one's heart. She is led by the power that's within her. And even though her subjects that come to her for help and guidance, she is one that moves in the energy of faith. She sees things before they happen. She's quite magical, and she used that energy to achieve what she desires to achieve. So those of you that are doubtful about your love, wanting to reunite with your love, she is the one to go to in need, because she is able to have faith even when you have very little. There is no doubt that Venus is led by the Divine Feminine and that her magic and energy is strongly feminine in nature. She embodies persuasive feminine charm, feminine wiles, and the essence of her feminine spirit. Venus invokes desire and lust, but also true and lasting love and companionship that is met with passion. The reason that we most often hear of Venus when referring to one of the planets in our solar system is because in ancient Rome, the planet Venus was associated with the goddess Venus. Venus, the planet 
was thought to be a star, and because it was so bright and beautiful, it shares the same name as the bright and beautiful goddess. Some of her other names are Venus Felix, which means the lucky, and Venus Closiana, which means the purifier. Venus Genetrix means mother, and it signifies that she is the mother of Rome. But this name also, once again, establishes her female power. The same power that we have inside of us. She teaches us to tap in to that very power to achieve what we desire to achieve. I must admit it's very magical. In Roman theology, Venus is born out of the sea foam, emerging a beautiful a thrill goddess endowed with extraordinary powers. Venus, while embodying the divine feminine, also plays a strong role in relation to the divine masculine as well. Her nature is said to be watery and yielding, yet she is married to her male counterpart, Mars, or Vulcan, representing fire and strength. Venus abates and absorbs the male nature and unites the two opposites that are male and female energy into a complementary union of companionship and love. Venus has a few signs and symbols. Often they are feminine and beautiful like herself, although roses are one of her signs. one of her favorite symbols. Now I'm sure you want to know what can Venus do. Venus was often called upon in ancient Rome to help men and women experience seeing the troubles of the heart. She was used in wedding bouquets and prayed to frequently thousands of years ago. A powerful being like Venus does not simply vanish with time, however. She still exists and is capable and willing to help bring hearts together. Venus unites broken-hearted lovers who have experienced tragedy in their relationship. Venus also fights for two hearts to come together and unite for the first time in true love. Everything she does is possibly because of her powerful magic and she uses to clear any obstacles or enemies from the path so that two people can finally come together. Dark forces like the vision, deceit, and other evils often keep two soulmates from meeting or from having a happy and healthy relationship. Venus overcomes all unseen forces that lead to loneliness, heartache, and pain and makes it possible for love and unity between those who are destined to find love with one another. The energy of those on earth can pull Venus from the universe and conjure her powerful mythical energy for assistance. Once your needs are made plain to Venus, she will be able to heal your heart and reunite or unite you for the first time with your twin flame. She is the savior of anyone longing for and desiring love. Perhaps you are single, longing for love, heartbroken, and lonely. For some reason you know you haven't met your twin flame, but you yearn for them dearly. On the other hand, maybe you do know them, but they don't seem to notice you or reciprocate those the same feelings. Venus can help arrange events outside of your control so that you meet them or alternately 
so that they fall in love with you. Perhaps you are in a relationship with someone, but there is some problem in the structure of your relationship that is causing heartache and disconnect. Resentment, distrust, and broken communication are common culprits that lead to wounded relationships. If you are longing to have a loving, affectionate relationship with your lover, this is where Venus comes in at. Venus can help heal hearts and old wounds. She can give you a new start, rekindle old feelings and passions, and renew anything that has died. Whatever your particular problem may be regarding love, Venus helps heal broken hearts and puts an end to loneliness and longing. Invoking and conjuring Venus is done through spells, magic, channeling in order to bridge the gap between our physical world and the spirit world where deities and mystical entities exist to be effective you must believe that venus will help you manifest your dreams of love and of romance